Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is Lindsay. I am going to film sort of a planner setup for October. Um, I have some ideas that I'd like to incorporate into my planner and I hope that you'll like it. So I've recently been taking some classes about things and some of the ideas that the classes have brought me I can incorporate into my planner and so I wanted to share them with you and I hope that you'll enjoy it. So I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach to this planner in that I'm going to take it apart. <laughs> so I want people to know that you don't have to be afraid to take it apart. It's just a couple of staples and you're not going to wreck anything. You're not going to wreck anything to make it your own. How's that? Because whatever you do to your planner is totally up to you. You have to feel free to play and make it your own and do your own thing. Be creative, be not so creative. Whatever you decide to do, it's totally fine totally up to you. Now, I'm taking it apart because the ideas that I want to do, I'd like to do it throughout my planner, and so I'm going to kind of use this, I'm going to use it this way all month. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an elastic around it so that what I'm actually planning in my book, my book doesn't fall apart but I'll add that later. So for now, I just decided that I'm going to take it apart and then I'm going to play inside here as we plan. So the book itself, generally what I do is I take my pages and I incorporate a couple of them in with washi tape, which I'll do this month as well. And a lot of you have seen me do that, so I probably won't show you that part. I'll probably just do that part off camera. But I'll take these pages and I'll cut them down. And then I'll add them to the side of my planner pages, kind of like that. So that I can meal plan in here. And then the rest of my week goes like this. So I'm still going to do that, but I'll set those aside for now. These pages here I'll use in my in my um, hole punched or my <laughs> my ring bound planner um, for video setups and all that kind of stuff for the month. So I'll put those aside because I'll do that myself later. But for now, I want to incorporate some of these beautiful sheets of vellum and. This one too, I really like this one. And we even have the sheets of, of acetate that we could incorporate too, which I think is cool. We have this sheet of acetate. Um, even though this isn't the same size, it's still okay to incorporate. I'll show you how. What else do we have? We have dashboards we could incorporate. We have notepad people pieces that we can incorporate. We have scrapbook paper. If you um, subscribe to any of the scrapbook pages or the day in the life kits or any of those, you end up getting coordinating scrapbook papers, which is really cool. You get two sheets of everything, which I love, love, love. Look how cute is that? And Look at those mushrooms. <laughs> I also subscribe to the scrapbooking kit too, so I do have larger sheets of these as well. But I'm going to show you how to incorporate the Day in the Life kit with this one. Um, just because I do like the size of the paper, and I think it would be really cool to have some sizes that are up high, or like the right size, and some that are a little bit smaller, just to make it a little bit more visually interesting. So what I'm going to do is take and trim down 
um, some of these things to fit personal size in here but I'm also going to cut them down in a way so that I can add washi tape in the middle of them but I'm not going to cut down this book I'm just going to cut down these pages <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab my paper trimmer which seems to be in the other room and I'll be all right so I've grabbed my paper trimmer and I'm going to trim down some of these pieces now personal width is three and three quarters but because we're going to put about a quarter of an inch in between two sheets of paper so that it makes it easier to fold um, I'm only going to cut it down to um, just an eighth of an inch less than that just so that when I'm using it um, I'll have a quarter of an inch in between the two pages and I'll show you what I mean as soon as I do that. So I'm only cutting off a very tiny bit. You could save this for something else too if you don't want to to destroy all of your scraps. This piece of acetate I don't have to cut down this way because it will fit slightly that way. So this sheet I'm actually not going to cut it down that way because I I do want it to fit in my planner kind of across the sheet like this so what I'm going to do is I kind of like that I'm going to measure the pages and just see I think this is about just one little notch over seven and a quarter I think I'm going to cut it down so seven and a quarter and one little notch that's how I measure <laughs> especially when I'm sick and I can't really think <laughs> so I'm going to add this acetate to the middle of my papers just like this and as you can see it fits right in so I'm going to fold this one in half just as it is and crease it so that when I have it in my planner it sits nicely just like that. Now when I'm done with my planner I will bind it back up again so this will stay inside which I think is really cool. I really love this dragonfly. I think it's awesome. So I'm glad I could include almost the whole sheet. So I'm going to leave that inside just like that. This one will become part of another page which I'll show you what I'm going to do. Um, but for right now, it's just going to sit it inside so that I can go ahead and cut down some of these other papers. So I really like this one. And I'll just put my pages off to the side a little bit. So that one. And I really like the mushroom one. I'm only going to do a couple of these pages uh, just because I don't want my planner to be too bulky because of course adding these extra pages will make it a little bit more bulky and then I'm going to add in some pieces of vellum no. this one you can the height you can cut to whatever height you want I'm going to cut it to personal height just because I want this to be a full page now these ones I'm going to cut actually this way I think because personal height only cuts off that much and then I can get two out of it Now this one you could technically make it the whole width of the planner so that whatever size you have it whatever you have on this side could technically go on the other side of the book by just folding it in half. So we'll do that with this one. But as you'll see with the mushrooms, you could also just cut it 
this way as well after you've cut your height. Actually, I'm going to cut this off. And then I'm going to cut from this way so that I can get rid of that fold there. Got a little, one of the corners got folded in transport, so I'm just going to cut that off. Then I don't have to worry about it. And I'll save all these little pieces for later because, of course, I'll be able to use them in other things. And this sheet, it can go this way, or it could go this way, really. Or this way. Hmm, maybe I'll have it go straight up and down. So again, I'm going to cut it to planner height. And then just a little skinnier than planner width, or personal width, I guess. You can do this with any of your dories. You'll just use a little bit more or a little bit less of the paper as you, as you use it. Alright, so we have all of these sheets here. And you can also use your dashboards too if you want to in this part as well. But for now, I'm g okay, so we left this one as one whole piece, so that'll be fun, so we'll use that one later. And then now I'm going to take these vellums, and I'm going to use some of the scrap of paper, I think, just to be a little bit bigger. So maybe the dotted paper will help a little bit. So I'm just going to trim these all at once they're all the same size so if I keep them all the same way and trim this way and then planner height I'll cut this side off give myself a smooth edge both sides all right. All right. So there we go. I've got my dotted page and I've got my uh, my vellum pages. And I'm just going to move some of this other stuff out of the way here. I'm going to open up both of the beautiful Coco Daisy washi tapes for the month. We actually got four this month depending on what kit you got because we got this bird one as well with one of them and then we got this flashy sparkly one and then we got these two so that's pretty cool now sometimes I can't get my nails in to get these open so they might take me a minute of course I love using their washi tape and the washi tape is a really good quality. It's really sticky, but it's not sticky enough that it's going to wreck anything. And it's also not sticky on itself, because sometimes you run into washi tapes that maybe are not made properly, and the washi tape sticks on itself, and it's frustrating, because you can't get any of it off the roll. So I've never had a problem with, with Coco Daisy washi tape. So it's really great. Uh, you can use whatever kind of washi tape you want. I'm going to put these about a quarter of an inch. I'm going to do one sheet at a time so I don't end up sticking them down. And I'm going to put them about a quarter of an inch apart. I'm also going to flip over the designed one just because I want that sort of facing to the front. And I think I didn't... Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to put them about a quarter of an inch apart. Approximately. And then I'm going to take my washi tape. And I'm going to tape it down. Mm -hmm. Just like that. 
and then I'll lift it up, flip it over. And I'm going to washi tape this side as well just to make it a little bit more secure. Oops. There we go. And then I'll just rip this off here at the top. So there we go. That's one page. And then you can just fold it and crease it to make another page. Okay? So I'm going to do that with the other ones as well. And I'm going to switch washies for this one. And I think I'm going to make this one so that it goes this way. It doesn't really matter because I can flip them over anyways, but <laughs> sorry about the sniffles. I'm still fighting a cold, so <laughs> it's not fun. And I even like blow my nose and everything before I start the video but I still end up oops, that's a little too far I still end up sniffling at some point if the video goes a little long <laughs> alright so that's done there and this one I'm going to fold over this way I think this last one here. I think I'm going to do that with this one as well. And your washi tape doesn't have to totally, totally match up. But it's nice if it's close so that your pages stay together. Alright. So there is this sheet. Perfect. Okay. That's what we'll do. We'll do one of these with a journaling card next to it. So grab my journaling cards. Figure out which one I want to use. Oh, sorry. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so because this is going to be skinnier, it's going to be the same width as this card so you want to see kind of where it lines up I kind of like that one put on the kettle put the kettle on <laughs> what else do we have here September from last month so of course you can't really use that one unless we trim that off but I don't think this it's a lot of planning but it doesn't really cut off so we could also just use this one too yeah you know what maybe we'll use this one so I'll just go ahead and trim this one to the right width And this one says, oh, happy day on the back. So you really could journal over top of this if you wanted to. Or you could leave that like it is and journal this way. 
really whatever you wanted to do. So with these two cards I've made them exactly the same size and we're going to do the same thing with the washi tape. Um, I think I'll put kind of, I think I'll put it this way actually. I'm just going to move these guys a little bit out of the way here. And again with your washi tape just fold it over itself, seal it down, and trim it off. Just like that. And then this will be able to be incorporated in there just like that. Alright, there we go, that's good. That's what I want. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and layer all of these things into my planner. So I think what I'd like to do, because October 1st is on a Sunday, I'm going to put one of these sheets right here because I know that the month is going to be split up, so that's just fine. I'm going to go ahead and add that sheet in there. Maybe I'll add some dotted, hmm, yeah, maybe I'll add some dotted pages in a couple later. And then a couple later, I'm going to add in my tree pages. And then I like the idea of splitting this page up with the acetate. So I'm going to throw that page in there. And then I think for the month of October, I would like an extra sheet just kind of over top of there. So it does make your planner just slightly thicker, and it does make things stick out a tiny bit, but once you bind it, and once you use it for the whole month, everything will be, everything will fit in, and you'll have tabs everywhere, and you'll be all kinds of, moving all kinds of crazy stuff. So, when you look at my planner, I'll open it like this, and you'll see that first page there. I could also cut this page and washi tape it together so that it does give a little bit more uh, length over here. I may end up doing that still. Then we have the planner page. And then we have, usually I put like my currently stuff on this side. Then we have the start of the month. And remember October is in Sunday, so most of these pages won't be used. So this will be a nice break if I want to add different things here, excuse me, then that will be great. Then we've got a couple of pages of a week. Then I've got a week split up by a dotted page. So if I want to do some journaling in there or if I want to do some other sort of things there, then we have another week of just plain then we've got a week split up by some vellum which we can write on or draw on or tape things to or put put some of these post-it notes on or whatever you want to do and then this page will be split up by this and when I mount it or when I bind it I'll bind it so that it kind of goes in the middle like that and so this page will flip through like that then of course we have your center page, then we have the Oh Happy Day card, and the, actually you know what, I'm going to flip that over, I kind of like it this way, yes. So that's the beauty of not binding it right away, is that if you want things to be kind of the opposite way, you can go in and just turn it around a little bit, there we go, that's the way I wanted it, yes. Okay, so when you flip it over, you'll see this page to journal on, and then we have the Oh Happy Day on this side, and then the little fox guy, then some pages, 
another page split up by a dotted page another page that page is split up by mushrooms another set of dotted page split up which is kind of nice you know if you're going to journal a lot or whatever then you can do some memory keeping in there and then of course the other um, acorn sheet so yeah and I think once I once I finish it off and bind it all together I think it'll look really pretty um, just as it is so I hope you like that um, I will be doing another video of a flip through once I've set everything up but I wanted to show you this part of it uh, just to give you an idea of how much oh I forgot we were going to put this in the middle how much you could customize this to your liking depending on what you're wanting to do you don't have to keep the book together you can tear it apart just like this and then use it for the month and then bind it together when you're ready what makes a good thing about having it apart like this is that if you're going to be stamping on your pages you could technically take your page that you're working on out of your planner stamp on it because you'll have a flat surface and then when you're ready to add it back in you just add it back into your planner and then move on so I hope you enjoyed this little sort of tutorial on how I'm doing my October planner this month and if you have any questions please leave them below and I will be happy to answer and as the month progresses you'll see more and more pictures of this planner layout that I'm going to try this month and I will go from there. I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye bye.